Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel for a double upload on your Saturday. I wanna take a look at the team of the week number, I think this is 30, right? Team of the week number 30. Um, I wanna take a look at this team of the week and honestly look at a lot of these cards and look at some investing opportunities we may have with this team um, and talk about their supply, talk about a lot of things that are gonna be going on with this team of the week and team of the weeks after this, in fact. Uh, that could make some team of the week cards pretty investable. So basically, we're going to take a look at it this way. First off, we're going to look at usable players and players that people are going to want to use in their teams. And then we're going to take a look at some of the SBC fodder and investing type of cards um, after that. So obviously, looking at usable players, you see right off the bat, we have Robert Lewandowski, the main man. A very nice card, good stats, um, and... Uh, very popular card as well. So he did get a boost over his last inform. He will get a team of the season. So this card will be kind of a little bit more irrelevant here in a couple of weeks. Uh, but if you're a Bayern fan, he could also win player of the month. So that's an interesting thing with this card. Uh, if you're going to use this card, I would be careful with that. Uh, his price could take a massive hit once he uh, wins player of the month, which could be next week. Uh, he is in the voting and since Bundesliga is very fan based and voting based There is a possibility that he could win. So that's a good card as well Best one in this team of the week very cool dynamic image uh, But you might get you're gonna have to be careful with that card. Let's move over to striker Ilicic first off this card is special to me because the first ever team of the season card that I owned in FIFA was FIFA 15 and it was team of the season Ilicic, who had 99 shot power and 99 long shots. And he, again, he has big time long shots in this game. Uh, this would be just kind of a card you would try for fun. Maybe an investment card at uh, an 87 rated inform since there are so many high rated squads with informs in these new icon SBCs coming out. That's kind of a borderline investment um, as well as a playable card. Um, but you know, I'm not gonna talk too much about him just because there's not a lot of hype around that card. Probably the second most or third most hyped up card in this team of the week is Jamie Vardy. And I want to talk about this card because it's going to be one that does rise out of packs for sure. He is an English inform in the Prem with pace. And that is exactly why you're going to see this card rise out of packs. Now, we're going to head over to Footbin here in just a second. And we're going to take a look at Jamie Vardy's inform. And we're going to also look at the Rashford Inform. So right now, Vardy's inform is 140,000 coins. It's going to go a little bit lower today, probably. The cheapest time for uh, informs from the current team of the week, barring any type of promotion or special SBCs, is usually on Saturday is when these cards do get the cheapest. So if we check out the hourly graph for Jamie Vardy, what has he been doing? He was down at 150 uh, Thursday when he came out. He was 130 at one point. Uh, this was when the weekly rewards and everything were open. So he was down to 130. If you see him get under 140, kind of in the 130 range like he is on PS4, if you see that over here on the Xbox, I think that's a good time to go out and maybe start to think about looking at that card. I say because the 130,000 coin range puts him in the same range as another English striker in the Prem, and that is the 86 rated version of Marcus Rashford. We like to compare uh, similar items in the game and Rashford, while he does have better uh, better stats um, than Vardy, he also has the weak foot and the skill moves on Vardy. But this Vardy card is new. Rashford's been out for a while. He does not have a dynamic image and you can see he's sitting at about 150,000 coins. Now compared to Vardy, Vardy has a little bit better finishing. He has 91 finishing and Vardy does have a little bit better pace, but you are sacrificing the skills and the weak foot. But you do also get some really high stamina and some really high aggression with the Vardy card. So there's going to be definitely a lot of people who want to go try that one out. That's going to be a good investment out of packs uh, just as a playable card in the game that people want to use. Same thing with Yunmin Sun. He does have a lot of special cards, special cards, which uh, kind of deters me from investing in him too much. But this is a cool card with <laughs> kind of an interesting dynamic image. Uh, and it's Yunmin Sun. He's a FIFA favorite. Uh, and a lot of people do like to use that card. Now, the last card that I'm going to say is actually usable in game is this De Rossi. 
there's going to be a lot of people who try this card out and use this card in game. He is not exactly SBC fodder. Um, if they would have given him 70 pace, he would be way more uh, usable in game and way more likable in game. Uh, but I don't see him being used too much, but he will be f uh, fit into some teams because he has the hype after he got his flashback card. So now that's kind of all the usable cards I want to talk about. Sarabia over here. I mean, it is a nice card. He has the headliner though, central position. So that card probably won't be uh, used too much. The 88 right mid and Taliska has the center attacking mid version from Carnival. So this card right here, I don't see too much with it being a good investment um, or a riser out of packs, except for maybe some SBCs if he gets cheap. But I want to talk about SBC investments from this team of the week. And basically what I want to talk about in terms of that is we just got on Friday a ton of new Icon SBCs that came out onto the game. Now, whether people are happy about them or not, that's kind of up to their own discretion. Um, I wish we would have gotten the Icon Moments SBCs, but we didn't. So we're now we're here with a lot of new icons. The Prime. We did get a few moments cards. I think we got like, uh, yeah, we got Schmeichel. And we got uh, Perez, Deco, Lineker, and Maradona. We got all those moments versions. But we also got Eusebio, Vieira, Ronaldinho, uh, Hullet, and Pele, and Ronaldo. So a lot of people are actually doing these SBCs. As I talked about in my Market Talk video earlier, um, a lot of people are doing these SBCs. You can easily tell that just based on what is going on on the market. A lot of the high rated golds are up and people are gonna continue working on these SBCs. And these SBCs don't leave the store for the rest of the year. And you know what that makes me think? That is some demand that is going to be continuous for the rest of the year as people go out and they complete those SBCs. Even as we get in towards team of the season, um, every team of the week from here on out, the informs that are quote unquote SBC fodder or SBC investments, they carry a lot more value because there's all those SBCs that require informs uh, and now there's a lot more demand for those informs. So obviously this Dante card is on one of the top cards on my list for an SBC investment, 85 rated. You can use him in any squad that would require an inform. If you're looking at 84, 85, 86, or even 87 squad, that card's gonna be good for you. Um, and he's gonna rise up. You, you might give him two weeks before he really booms, but I think right now, if we look at the team of the week, this Dante card, is 29,000 coins. If we, we check on his price, he's 30K. He was a little bit lower than this. I bet he was like 26K on Thursday after rewards. What was he? Not quite 26K, 27K. So he's been chilling around the same price. Now today, I bet he went up a little bit with all these SBCs, he went to 29K right away. Um, but definitely watch for this card. If you can get him in like the 26 to 27, maybe even 28K range if you have to. This card could easily be 40K in two weeks out of packs. Now, I do believe that EA are smart. They know they dropped a lot of SBCs in the market today. So they're gonna supply this card a lot more than they would a normal team of the week. So this card is gonna have some increased supply because it's just, you know, it's they just dropped a ton of Icon SBCs. They know that people are gonna do them. They need to drop more uh, cards on the market so people can do those SBCs. Uh, that's just how EA works. But uh, this card's going to run out of supply eventually. I think it's a great investment. Same thing with Jagielka, Hugo Malo, and Paolo Lopez. Um, I like Paolo Lopez almost the best, I think, behind Dante, um, just because he is a goalkeeper, and a lot of people choose to put goalkeepers in their teams when there's an SBC needed. That's why you see this Paolo Lopez card on Thursday, he was under 20,000 coins. He's already up to 26K, because you can tell that this is one of those cards that got into SBC... Um, solutions really quick. 20,000 coins on Thursday. Even today, 20,000 coins. SBCs come out, boom, he's up to 23, 24. And right now it shows he's 26,000 coins. So that's this kind of card, if you see it down towards 22K again, that's a good range to pick up this 84 rated card uh, to pick him up there just because he's, again, a very good SBC fodder investment. Hugo Malo, I know a lot of people are invested in this card right now. Um, and that scares me a little bit, but again, this card is definitely going to be one that rises out of packs for his great links. And if you need chemistry for, uh, for a squad, 
he's a right back. So that's big time for the chemistry standard. Uh, he was under 20K just a little bit at some points. But if you see him at 20K flat, that's a pickup um, for that card as well. Now moving on to the bench. We have a couple good SBC investments down here. Um, I got this Tsangakov guy when he first came out of PAX, or first came into PAX, uh, the Ukrainian here, he was actually like 17K, 18K. I picked one up on a snipe for 12K that I have him in the club. He's back to 22K just because he was the cheapest, cheapest in form. He's not going to rise a ton out of PAX. He will rise maybe like to 26K, uh, but the links really hurt him. He is a right mid. That's not terrible, but he's not going to link with anybody that you're using in a higher rated squad. So that's why I don't like him as much, but he is going to be cheaper. So a lot of people will invest in him. DePaul is another interesting investment as well. He's at 25K right now for an 84 rated center mid. Great links being Calcio A and Argentinian. If you see that card again, like the 22 to 23K range, that's a buy uh, for that card. But let me tell you about, let me just kind of think through this a little bit right now. DePaul and uh, Paul Lopez are both about 24 to 25, 26K. And you have Dante, 85 rated, who's 29K. Let's do some thinking. Dante's an 85 rated. That means he's probably a little bit more rare on the market. He has a little bit higher value for SBCs. And 85 rated informs are very popular, but yet he's only 4,000 coins more. That's where I see the investment opportunity with this card being 85 rated. And of course, boom, 27K, I'll take that one. Thank you very much. We're gonna send that to the club um, and in two weeks, probably be able to sell him for 35 to 40,000 coins. This is almost the type uh, part of the year where you can go back to discard inform investing. And when you can throw an inform in your club and in a couple weeks, before team of the season, of course, but in a couple weeks, you'll be able to sell this card for profit because of all the icon SBCs are out and that continuing demand of people that will be completing SBCs. And that's why these team of the week SBC investments are so very important. You can just go out, pick one up, throw it in your club, uh, wait a couple weeks, and these guys are all gonna be inflated in price even more. Now be careful, don't just go out and buy one of each without looking at the price. Look and see what they're going for. Obviously, Jackie Elka at 20K, not a really good buy. If I saw that at 15K, I would be interested. But a lot of these guys, Dante being my favorite, Paulo Lopez and DePaul being up there as well with Hugo Malo. Uh, those are guys that I wouldn't go ham on, um, but you could definitely pick up a couple, put them on your transfer list if you like investing in this kind of stuff. And you'll probably see some gains in the next two weeks as people continue to chip away at some of these icon SBCs because this isn't something that people can complete in two or three days. This is gonna take people a while to finish off a Ronaldo, to finish off a Hullet, or to finish off one of those icons, just because of the fact that there's so many stinking SBCs that you have to do to complete one of these cards. Look how far down I have to go. 88, 89, 87, 286s, 284s uh, for, for Eusebio. So um, it's gonna take people a while to do a lot of these SBCs, and that's why investing in the Team of the Week SBC fodder cards um, is going to be something that's very beneficial for you guys and something I'm going to be doing even if it's just picking up one and sending it to the club. If you enjoyed this video and learned from it, smash a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below if you have any questions and also subscribe or definitely subscribe to the channel if, if, uh, if you're new and you're enjoying the content. But Team of the Week Investing is definitely here to stay and it's back um, because of all the icon SBCs that are out on the game. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.